Welcome to Microsoft Access 2010 Beginner Level 2, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. This class focuses on designing and formatting forms from scratch. In the previous class, we built a simple form using the Access Automatic Form Builder. In today's class, we'll learn how to design a form from the ground up. This will allow us to take full advantage of the power of Access Form Design. This course follows Access 2010 Beginner Level 1. It is strongly recommended that you watch Level 1 before proceeding with today's lessons. Level 1 covers many important Access fundamentals, including planning your database, building tables and queries, entering and editing data, sorting and filtering data, building a simple form, developing reports and labels. To purchase a copy of Level 1, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. We will begin by downloading the database from the last class, Level 1, from my website. We'll talk about the security warning that comes up when you run the database. I'll show you how to set up a trusted location, a folder on your desktop, where you can run databases without having to see that warning message every time. We'll spend the majority of today's class learning how to build forms from scratch. Sure, Access can instantly build a simple form for you, but understanding how to build forms yourself from the ground up will help you to unlock the true potential of building powerful professional databases. You will learn how to manually add fields from your table to your forms, working with the field list. You'll learn how to manipulate the different objects on your form, including labels, text boxes, and check boxes. You'll see how to move, resize, and delete them. You'll learn how to work with objects in groups and edit some of their properties, such as changing the text on a label. You'll learn about the grid, which is the set of dots on the background of a form that Access uses to keep your objects lined up all nice and neat. You will learn how to apply different formatting techniques to your forms. You'll see how to change the foreground and background colors of the controls on your form and the background color of the form itself. You'll learn how to work with different fonts, line styles, borders, shadowing, and lots more. All of this will allow you to make professional-looking, unique forms for your Access databases. We'll learn about themes and how you can use themes to instantly change the look and feel of your form. You'll learn the difference between standard colors and theme colors. We'll discuss how themes can make your database have a consistent look and feel. You'll learn how to work with Layout View, a hybrid between Form View and Design View, where you can make some changes to the layout of your form while still being able to see the data in it. Finally, I'll take some time to answer questions from students that were posted in my online access forums related to this class. Some of the questions include, what is an LACCDB file? How can I switch from a tabbed to an overlapping window interface? How do I pin commonly used databases to the recent files list? Can I add data from two tables to a form? And can I change the background color of a checkbox? This course is designed to be used with Microsoft Access 2010. If you're using Access 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along, as the two versions are very similar. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should either upgrade your version of Access or visit my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for my Access 2003 tutorials. Access 2003 is radically different from 2007 and 2010. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. My Beginner courses are for novice users who have little or no experience with Microsoft Access. They are designed to give you an overview of the basic features of Access and cover just what you need to know to be productive. The Expert series is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. Expert classes go into a lot more depth about each topic than the beginner classes do, 
and we'll cover more functions, features, tips, and techniques for power users. When you've mastered the expert classes, move up to the advanced lessons. You will learn how to work with macros, automation, and many more advanced features that really add enhanced functionality and professionalism to your databases. Finally, my developer level courses are designed to teach you how to program in Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. This will allow you to create the most advanced databases possible and unlock the full potential of Microsoft Access. Each of my series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level one. Each subsequent level teaches you new and different topics in Microsoft Access, building on the lessons learned in the previous classes. When you've finished all the beginner classes, move up to the expert series, then the advanced, and finally, developer lessons. In addition to my normal Access classes, I also have special seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in our interactive student forums. If you're watching this course using our custom video player software or online in the web theater, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them, and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching your lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by going to accesslearningzone.com forums. Here you can also subscribe to the forum updates and receive a notification anytime anyone posts a question or comment. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. I'll do my best to try and help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. While I encourage you to actually build the database that I build in today's class, if you would like to download a sample copy of my database file, you can find it at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to download the sample database file for today's lessons from my website. It's the same database we built in the last class in case you don't still have a copy. We'll discuss the security warning that Access displays whenever you open a database. We'll learn about the Enable Content button and when you should be careful about clicking on it. I'll show you how to set up your own trusted folder so you can open databases without having to deal with that security warning. And we'll go through a quick review of the database we built in Level 1. A very important part of making user-friendly databases is learning how to properly build forms. In lesson two, we'll begin taking a look at how to build forms from the ground up. In lesson three, we're continuing with form design. In lesson four, we're going to begin looking at formatting our forms to make them look more professional. In lesson five, we're continuing with form formatting. In Lesson 6, 
I'll answer some of the frequently asked questions related to this class that were posted in my online access student forums.